All right, everybody. Uh, just got my box in from Wizards, uh, my secret layer box. Uh, I only bought a couple out of this set. Um, you know, it takes a while to get these in. So uh, for this set specifically, uh, I, I wanted to buy the Mark Pool series because uh, yeah, respect as an artist. I bought the Allied and Enemy Signets and I bought the Phyrexian Praetor pack. Uh, so I only got four out of this one, um, but this is Artist Series Mark Pool. Uh, known for uh, one of my favorite cards, Bird of Birds of Paradise. Uh, so yeah, really, really, really enjoy uh, this uh, smaller box treatment. Um, kind of opened this one already, uh, but it's it's very clean. I love the matte look to everything. I love the trash saving. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into this. Got to thank you for being a part of Secret Layer. Got our box here, and this slides up here. Very nice. It has uh, the gold here, like it always has. Very nice. Very nice sleeve. Uh, got our box here with uh, our cards. And uh, they do this weird thing with the promo. It's in a slot in the back. I don't want to know what this one is yet. I'll leave it right there. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't looked for spoilers on on that uh, so let's go and slide this in here out of the way and we can get to the cards now uh, in this box uh, they use that really aggressive glue and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it uh, so I'm gonna try to cut the pack on the cardboard here just very carefully with a sharp knife and hopefully we can pull these bad boys out with no issues all right all right uh, we have one of my first magic cards balance uh, although in a beautiful art wow so I believe the the kind of appeal for this one was we get some old school art and we get some new school art. They have a very much um, from the vault shine to it is kind of what I'm getting. It's not that super special foil, but it has that kind of like hyper gloss look to it, um, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but you know, it's not bad. Oop. It's not bad. All right. Balance on to brainstorm. Everyone's favorite blue card. Other than Island. Just kidding. That is great. And I believe that is a self portrait. Very cool. Very cool. There's the the kind of mana drain in the background. Really nice. Or maybe that's not that. The brainstorm. An actual storm of brains. Counter spell. Very classic iconic card with the classic iconic art yeah there she is birds of paradise sadly this is how i was introduced to elves was with a bird but it it had me gone forever and still in it all right uh definitely wanted this uh, new version of howling mind what a great card what a nice uh, to have a foil got some high stamping here but pretty excited and then of course an affordable wasteland um i don't play legacy anymore but <laughs> yeah, what a nice uh nice art it's a a destroyed library of alexander Ex alexandria so that's a that's a fun nod uh i enjoy that and then the the extra card is ooh uh, a sketched brainstorm that that is cool okay I gotta look at this so we had some of the sketch cards in modern horizons 2 i believe oh yeah that is that is very nice um if this is anything like they're gonna do with the silver screen stuff i am on board really am and it's it is the exact same pose it's just no color 
I, I dig this a lot. Uh, so, uh, nice, nice pickup. Seven cards, two brainstorms, a wasteland, a howling mine, a birds of paradise, a counterspell, and a balance. We got new art on wasteland, but it's an homage to old art. New art on brainstorm and new art on balance. And then we have the nice traditional classic art that we all know and love Mark Pool for. Howling Mine, Birds, Counterspell. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.